I feel like the desert is breathing a big sigh of relief after a couple years of functionally very little water. There's parasites that keep the populations of butterflies down. Small wasps and flies that either feed on the eggs or on the larvae. On a drought year, those parasite populations crash and it allows the butterflies the next year to expand very quickly. Right now we're seeing one of the few benefits of a drought is this beautiful influx of snout butterflies and a lot of other butterflies too. The Thallus ioli, that's the Latin name, and then the English common name is the dainty sulfur. And that's because it's so tiny. So most things are bigger, like you see those big fat yellow ones. They're relatives of this. Hi, darling. I'm gonna put you back and see if you're gonna stay. Oh, all right, fine. You wanna stay, stick around for a little while? Yep, flex, flex, sort it out. This is a, what's called a beating sheet, and it's a, a great way to um, look for caterpillars. Uh, these, the larvae of these butterflies are very cryptic and they're very difficult to see. Oh, there's a big fat one. Wow. You can see how plumpy it looks like a little, little pickle with horns. He's cute. My name is John Palting. I have a PhD in entomology from the University of Arizona, and I've been studying uh, butterflies and moths in this area for around 40 years. And this is a pretty extraordinary year in 2021. Ooh. I'm uh, Professor Katie Prudick. I'm an assistant professor of community and data science at the School of Natural Resources and the Environment, the University of Arizona. This is actually one of my favorites. This is uh, the dog-faced butterfly. I study how butterflies make a living, especially in light of climate change, and how we can make their lives better through this process. Insects are amazing. They were the first animal to take flight, and they did it a long, long time ago. And that flight has made them pretty successful. They haven't really experienced any mass extinctions. They've certainly experienced declines. The West has experienced dramatic declines in butterflies, so there is a cause for concern there. When I think about butterflies, I think about two functions they serve, which, other than to make me happy. They are part of the pollinator guild and they're partly responsible for creating the next generation of plants. These are the larvae of the snout butterflies, the green ones. The big thing too is that caterpillars, as it turns out, are excellent snacks for many, many animals. This is the pupa of the Empress Lelia that's on the hackberry. So if you look on your hackberry plants, you might see both of these species. What we have over here are some mud puddling butterflies. Now mud puddling butterflies usually are male butterflies who are acquiring micronutrients to give as a gift to their female mates. So butterflies not only provide sperm when they mate with females, but also uh, nuptial gifts is what they're called in the biological literature. They're taking a Gatorade break to stock up on some electrolytes, basically, that they're going to then give to their girlfriends. It's kind of fun to think like, like they have these complicated lives, right? With the internet, we get a lot of tales of, you know, butterfly declines and a lot of bad news. So it's kind of heartening to see such abundance of butterflies this year in Tucson. Over the last five years, this is a, a really phenomenal year. If we look over 20 years, it's probably about average. If we look over 50, it's probably a little below average. We're seeing a good population and that's great and something to celebrate.